Hey everybody, welcome back to another brand new video. Today we're heading to Walmart. This was actually a couple days ago at sunset, around 6.30 in the evening. I went to Walmart and they were just getting rid of all their cards, tossing them back in the shopping carts to put on the shelves. Basically what this Walmart does is when they are stocked, they keep them behind customer service and they let people buy them starting at 7 a.m. all day long. And at the end of the day, they put everything that's unsold in these shopping carts and uh, you can buy as many as you want. Before that, there's a limit of one per box per person. And there's just a ton, as you see, of Topps Chrome Jumbos. Topps Chrome just is basically lining the entire bottom of this shopping cart. There's also a bunch of Prism boxes. I have not yet opened Prism retail on the channel. So despite the $35 price tag, I think I'm gonna go ahead and buy some of those. Here's another angle of this shopping cart. I just figured I would show you all of it so that you can see what kind of stuff they have uh, available at this Walmart. You see a whole bunch of basketball. There's also football on the, the uh, cart, I guess. I did not see any optic football. There was some optic basketball. I remember last time, about a month ago, this Walmart did the same thing, tossing everything into a shopping cart and there was some optic football on or in the cart. And folks were like, I can't believe you passed up on all that. But I only do baseball cards. That's all I like to open. That's all I'm interested in. So I left everything except for about $200 worth of cards, which is really only, I think, like five boxes. Here you see a whole bunch of that basketball stuff. Uh, that's been sitting there forever, like literally like all year long. No one's been buying that, whatever that was, 2021 Chronicles basketball. We've got some old stuff on the shelves, relatively speaking. Series 2 blaster boxes with Gypsy Queen blasters as well, making an appearance this week after a two-month hiatus. We've also got the factory sets. So all together, I'm going to pick out $200 worth of cards, give or take. We're going to take them home, open them up, and see what we can find. So thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And now let's go ahead and open these all up. All right, everybody, we are back from Walmart and we've got about a $200 haul right here in retail. Let's show you what we've got. First, we picked up a Chrome Jumbo Box. There's a bunch of these on the, I guess not on the shelves, but in the shopping cart, $65 a piece, which is about 70 after tax. These could potentially just be absolutely a, just a huge waste of money. $35 for a blaster box of Prism. That's the same price for a blaster box of Chrome as well. And uh, the good deal, I guess, uh, by you know today's standards. Series 2 boxes showing up back on the shelves. Going after the J-Rod short print. Those are $25 a piece. Altogether, we are looking at about $200 plus dollars. So let's go and get started. Our sponsor for today is Tim M. He is our Patreon member that has sponsored this video if you'd like to purchase spots in any of our breaks or get your name on a card like this during one of our videos you have to be a patreon member we sell all of our spots there so without further ado let's go ahead and see what we have so we're this is our first time opening prism blaster boxes on the channel at least for 2022 there's 30 total cards per box there's also one retail exclusive green prism five cards per pack Six packs, and as you see, the uh, obscene $35 price tag on there. So all together, we have, I'll call it about $74 maybe after tax in these two prison boxes. Let's hope that we can hit something big in here to recoup that value for Tim. Best of luck to you, Tim. Thank you very much for sponsoring this video. And away we go. Hope everyone is having a very pleasant Sunday. If you'd like to join us for auction, that'll be going on tonight on the main channel and here we go so we start things off emmanuel class a something's upside down here it's gonna be a walker bueller white and it is unfortunately not numbered so there's a parallel there we'll take that one it'd be nice to find a parallel in every pack for 35 dollars. you would want to see that uh jordan alvarez zach gallon corbin burns austin riley refractor and another parallel it is a seth beer purple Again, not numbered. So I guess maybe they are trying to justify that $35 price tag by loading up the parallels. And here comes another white, which is not going to be numbered. Uh, we've got Whit Merrifield back with his Kansas City Royals uniform. So there's three more packs left here. Hoping we can maybe get an autograph. We have our first numbered card here. It's Zach Gallon, and I think we've got an autograph after all. It's Reed Detmer. So, all right, we'll take that. The Gallon's out of... 149 and Reed Detmer's purple auto 
out of 50. So I thought this was going to be an absolute bloodbath for Prism with these two boxes. And it is turning to, or it's turning out that it's actually maybe holding its own for this box. Very nice. Reed Detmers, nice rookie auto. Here's the next one. Eli Morgan, Tatis. We've got a Joe Ryan purple. Again, those aren't numbered. And our last pack for Tim from Prism. We've got Starling Marte on the back and J-Rod, Julio Rodriguez on the top. We'll definitely get that one sleeved up. The number one guy to find in Prism, at least in the base set. We've got a couple more parallels here. Lots of color going on. Not a whole lot of numbering going on with those parallels, but at least there's some color. We're going on to the second box, and we'll get into the Chrome in Series 2. Let's see what we can find. I was hoping to find some archives this week out and about. But that wasn't the case. Maybe we'll find it next week or the week after. Sometimes with Topps products, they tend to delay or hold back retail for a little while. I'm not sure if that's intentional to sell more hobby boxes or if it's just because logistically they can't get it all out there at once. I'm not sure. But let's see what we have in our next pack. We have Ruanzi Contreras, white. Nice pitching prospect for the Buccos there. Next pack up. We've got Gabriel Arias, Derek Kilbadu, Randy Rosarena, Fearless Card, and Nick Algeyer. I almost said Nick Allergy. And uh, as a kid, I probably would have made that nickname for him. As he used to routinely make up names like that for certain players. Next up, Chas McCormick. We've got Riever San Martin. Some base cards there. Cattell Marte, that's going to be unnumbered. We've got three packs left. It would be really nice to get another autograph. Peck for $35 a box. I feel like you should get one guaranteed autograph. I think back in 2019 or 2020, uh, I want to say I'm, um, like a monster box may have been $39.99. Had a guaranteed auto back in the day a few years ago. I'd have to go back and see if I have any of those on my shelf. Next up, we've got Byron Buxton on the top. There's Jaron Duran, Prism Refractor, Nick Lodolo White is the last one. And here's Tim's final pack of Prism. Got a fearless Raphael Devers on the back. And there he is. And that will do it for the Prism. So at least we got an autograph out of there. That was nice. And uh, to be honest, somewhat unexpected. We're going to now go with Chrome. The other pricey product out there. Prism and Chrome are kind of uh, similar in the fact that they... Both have that nice chromium finishes, and uh, both are a bit expensive when you stack it up against the uh, flagship base paper releases, like uh, Top Series 1 and 2 and Donruss. All right, let's go ahead and try this. It's the Mega Box. Can the Mega Box finally deliver? I've opened a few of these on the channel and have not had much luck with these whatsoever. 2022 Chrome is just um, not very good. And it's, it's not selling very well either. If you're unfamiliar with why it doesn't sell well, well, the, um, not the collation, but the, the big problem with it was they forgot to put the, the big money short prints in there that drive people to this product, like the J-Ron and Bobby Witt, Spencer Torkelson. There's also Hunter Green and C.J. Abrams. They didn't put them in there. They just flat out forgot. So there's no chance of pulling them in retail. So I've noticed, and other people have left comments, that around the country, Chrome is sitting on the shelves untouched. Nobody really wants it all that much. And uh, as you'll see, well, let's hope that for Tim's sake we can get $70 in value back here. But I've opened a few of these so far, and there just has not been the value there. $70, we might get lucky to get $7 of value back. So far, there's... There's going to be one Prism X-Fractor per pack, so we're going to see, I don't know, what is it, like 10 of those? And look at this, we have an autograph, so we are getting lucky today. Zach Pop, it is a Refractor Rookie Auto, it should be numbered out of 499, yep, 311 of 499 there for you, Tim, so congratulations. The, the Finally, the box delivers with an autograph. Um, there's an X-Factor Trey Turner. There's Hoy Park. Sticking card there, Blake Snell. At least these cards with the retail I found do not stick as much as Hobby. The Hobby, something like with the Jumbos, those are almost are just plastered together in some instances. we got a pinstripe of Freddie Freeman there. There's a Tatis. 
I find myself sitting here wondering if Tatis is going to get a World Series ring if the Padres end up winning the World Series. They've got a shot, basically a one in four shot. They're in the NLCS against the Phillies. Now we just have to wait on the Yankees and Guardians to see who's going to move on to face the Astros. I am surprised, shocked if the Dodgers got eliminated, but their bullpen is and uh, has been very shaky this year. All those wins and don't have really uh, lights out back into the uh, the bullpen there. Craig Kimbrell wasn't getting it done, and man, can't believe that the I think they set a team record, a franchise record for most wins in the season. They won their division, and they lost to a wild card team in the San Diego Padres. So that's probably going to start a big rivalry between those two teams if they didn't hate each other enough. I'm sure Dodgers fans are going to be extra surly towards the Padres, especially next year, for knocking them out. All right, Tim, here's your chrome pack or your chrome hanger. Let's see if we can get lucky. Maybe just we'll hit another autograph, and this will be a – Really nice haul. We have a pink of Trevor Larnock. It's not numbered. The retail pinks are not numbered. The hobby pinks are. I think they might be out of 350 if I remember correctly. There's Jazz Chisholm sepia card. We've got a Mike Trout 1987 refractor. Always nice to see that one. Jack Flaherty. We've got another pink. It's a good one here. It's a Showtime. Shohei Otani. It's not numbered, but a nice parallel of Shohei Otani. Always a good card. Kyle Muller, that card always makes me stop just for a second and think it's Spencer Strider. There's the heart of the city. Aaron Judge, that's a great card. And John Carlos Stanton, CPS. So unfortunately, nothing too crazy in there. Now, since these haven't been on the shelves that much recently, honestly, it's been two months since I've seen Series 2 on the shelves at Walmart. So I had to grab this box and hope that we can find something for Tim. And then buy something, I mean a Julio Rodriguez short print specifically. Would be very nice. Or maybe there's, there's that batting helmet card right there. Or maybe uh, at the very least, it'd be nice to find an O'Neill Cruz and a Spencer Strider. Those are a couple of the decent rookies in this checklist. All right, so let's see if we can fire for 10. Mystery Box Monday coming up tomorrow. I hope that you will be able to join us for that. We've got a bunch of mystery products to bust open. Should be fun. Always a good time seeing what people have created and they're selling on eBay or Facebook or Instagram or whatever. All righty, let's flip this over and see what we've got from Series 2. Are you ready for the Stars of MLB inserts one more time? I know you are. I know you love seeing these. <laughs> I personally am a bit tired of this design. We've seen it just too often. Some of you folks out there that rip a lot of retail are probably super tired of seeing those. But the good news is... Um, 2023 tops just a few months away, February, and we have a new release on the horizon. I think I heard somebody tell me that they moved update the next big release from tops back to October 28th. I was hoping it was going to be on my birthday, but they moved it back a couple days, but that's all right, just a couple days. So maybe we'll see some of that coming out here uh, pretty soon on the shelves at Walmart. Here's a blue Robbie Ray. This is not numbered, it's a retail exclusive parallel. Not numbered, Robbie Ray in his Mariners uniform. Shane Boz. Still haven't found any major crazy hits. Here's a numbered card in Tommy Edmond. It's a gold card. Put that one off to the side. Sweet Shades, Bo Bichette. And we've got one pack remaining here. So far, nothing too crazy to get all hyped up about in these packs. The last pack, it's going to be the Batting Helmet pack, which is... It's kind of cool. Let's just face it. It's cool. It's a big fat pack. We already know what's in here. All right. So the batting helmet card, it's going to be. It is a Reese Hoskins. There it is. It's a very heavy card. Reese Hoskins batting helmet. And that will do it for Tim. So nothing too crazy in there. Although we did have some good luck with the, uh, the Chrome Mega Box with the autograph. Also one of the prison boxes. Tim, thank you very much for participating. Thank you to all of you guys for watching. I really appreciate that. Coming up this week, I'll have Topps Hobby Light Boxes. I've got Mystery Box Monday as well for you. We'll have a Throwback Thursday. I might go back and do a 2015 Elite Box. So plenty of stuff. Hope you guys will hit that subscribe button, that notification bell. Tap that. Click all so you don't miss anything. I hope you guys have a great week ahead and a great rest of your Sunday night. Hope to see you in the auction, and I'll see you all later. Good night, everybody.